in this video we are going to discuss properties of cross correlation function so here you can treat this properties for energy signal so you can treat it for energy signal general properties of cross correlation function so cross correlation function exhibit conjugate symmetry property this we already discussed in autocorrelation function also so here also cross correlation function exhibits conjugate symmetry property that is r12 of tau is equal to r21 star of minus tau so here you know what is meant by r12 of tau that is nothing but so for example if you consider r21 of tau then that is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t so x1 star of t so x2 of t minus tau dt so when you are writing a r21 for one you need to consider star that means for this second function you need to consider star so x1 uh, here the second function is one first function is two so for that you need to consider star so here for example if you want r21 of minus tau then how you will get r21 of minus tau means integral minus infinity to infinity x1 star of t so if you consider tau in place of minus tau in place of tau then you are going to get t plus tau dt so here if you consider complex conjugate for this function the function which is having complex conjugate that is going to vanish the complex conjugate is going to vanish and for this you are going to get complex conjugate then you can see if complex conjugate is for second function and if the equation in the form of multiplication of one function for and shifted version of another function whether the shift is positive or negative then you can consider this as r12 of tau so you can see the shift uh, the complex conjugate is for second function so that's why you can write this as r12 don't uh, confuse for this shift in fundamental equations i given t minus tau so you can consider the negative shift also like t plus tau so like this we can prove this property coming to second property of cross correlation function if r12 of 0 is equal to 0 that means cross correlation function at origin is equal to 0 then the signals are said to be orthogonal cross correlation function at origin why we are observing cross correlation function at origin why we are making note on cross correlation function at origin means the correlation function will show maximum value at um, origin only so that's why here the cross correlation function at origin if it is equal to 0 that means for example r12 of tau you know the equation so integral minus infinity to infinity so x of t x of t x1 of t x2 of t minus tau dt this is for real signal i am considering auto uh, cross correlation function for real signal so i am not considering any complex conjugate if you consider complex conjugate also no problem for example complex function then you can take star for second function so this is auto uh, cross correlation function of two signals x1 of t and x2 of t for example r12 of 0 if you want to calculate then how you will calculate r12 of 0 in place of tau you need to consider 0 that means integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of t x2 star of t in place of tau if you consider 0 so you are having only x2 star of t dt you can observe this equation if this is equal to 0 if this is equal to 0 that means integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of t into x2 of t dt is equal to 0 then the signals are said to be orthogonal we are having orthogonality condition in our hand in very initial classes of signals and systems we discussed about this some important points about signals in the topic of some important points about signal at starting classes itself i discussed this orthogonality condition so whenever two signals are said to be orthogonal means whenever integral minus infinity to infinity first signal into second signal dt is equal to 0 if this integration value is equal to 0 then we can say the two signals are said to be orthogonal 
So here finally we are having another property. If you consider Fourier transform for your cross correlation function R12 of tau, then that will be equal into multiplication of individual Fourier transforms and you need to consider complex conjugate for second transform if the signals are complex signals. So R12 of tau, if you consider Fourier transform, then you will get x1 of omega into x2 star of omega. The equivalent is x1 of omega into x2 star of omega. That means for a signal, for a signal x1 of t, the transform is x1 of omega and for a signal x2 of t, the Fourier transform is x2 of omega. Then if you are having cross correlation function for these two signals like this and if you consider Fourier transform of that cross correlation function, then that will be is equal to individual transforms multiplication that means x1 of omega into x2 star of omega. This is also called as correlation theorem. This is very important. What is meant by correlation theorem means Fourier transform of your correlation function is equal to multiplication of individual transforms. If that is complex signals, whatever signals you consider is complex signals, then that theorem will change to R12 of tau Fourier transform is equal to x1 of omega into x2 star of omega. All these are very important properties for cross correlation function.